Hey up YouTube, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to part 16 of my Final Fantasy 7 No Random Encounters Challenge. After defeating the two-headed dragon, it's time to leave Gaia's Cliff and make our way to the Northern Crater and the Whirlwind Maze. Before we can enter though, Tifa demands that we take her with us and apparently it's non-negotiable. I think it makes sense for Tifa to be mandatory here due to what happens next in the story, but she's a bit of a wimp compared to Barrett and Cloud at this point, so we need to make sure she's well equipped for the upcoming boss fight. As we enter the Whirlwind Maze, Cloud and the gang look up and can see Shinra aboard the High Wind. Rufus seems to think he's found the Promised Land and he can finally claim it for himself, whereas Hojo claims it doesn't belong to anybody and it's actually where the reunion is taking place. Seems as though Hojo might be right, seeing how we're bumping into several of these Roby men on our way. One of them has clearly thought, this, I can't be arsed today. We then get to this aptly named area of the Whirlwind Maze where we have to dodge a... Well, whirlwind. If you bump into this, it forces you into a random battle with a dragony looking thing. Kinda wish I'd equipped the manipulate materia here as I completely forgot that these buggers can cast white wind, which we could have learned as an enemy skill. But I just decided that I'd keep failing at trying to make my way across. Still, grateful for the accidental XB boost though. After what felt like an eternity, Cloud and the gang finally make their way across the chasm, and we can prepare for the boss of this episode, Genova Death. Raid right on YouTube, here we are. We're just about to go into the third Genova boss battle uh, in the Whirlwind, Whirlwind Maze in the Northern Crater. Let's have a look and see how we've set everybody up. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that Tifa's had to come in. Because, as you saw in the recap video, she just can't tear herself away from this one. So we have unfortunately had to put Tifa into this. And because we haven't really been using her, we've not really got an awful lot of uh, choice weapons-wise for her. So, first thing I'll do is I'll show you what we've done with Tifa. We have the work glove. Genuinely have absolutely no idea where we picked that up. We've given her the work glove. Sadly, no materia slots. We've also given her the circlet just to raise her magic and her spirit. It's a little bit redundant in this particular boss battle, but thought let's just equip her with something. And we've also taken the fire armlet off Yuffie and we've given that to Tifa. Now, Genova Death only attacks with fire abilities. That's it. So as you saw in the last video, Yuffie was getting healed by fire attacks. This is exactly what's going to happen with Tifa. So Tifa just just literally will not will not die in in this in this boss battle. If you've got these types of things equipped, it's impossible to lose this boss battle. So that's what we've done with uh, Tifa. Cloud is exactly the same apart from I've given him the fire ring just so he can't be damaged by uh, Genova as well. And then moving on to Barrett. Barrett's got the Aurora armlet and the ribbon. Obviously, with Barrett being the healer and Genova Death being able to, I think Genova Death can silence. That'll just protect him from that so he can still do his Curie bits. In terms of materia, there's not an awful lot different here. Cloud is exactly the same. Enemy scale, counter attack, HP plus, long range, and all. Barrett, I don't think I've done anything different with Barrett. Oh, I've given Barrett Comet when we took Yuffie out. So I've given Barrett Comet. Everything else is exactly the same. Bahama, all. Lightning, fire, and another all material. Restore all. Enemy skill and HP plus. Right then. Let's go and kick Genova Death's arse, shall we? Right then. Here we go. Like I said, it's impossible to lose this with the equipment we've got. But I want to just make sure that I get... We, we, we just completely tan, it, tan is slash her arse as soon as we possibly can. Um... It's got quite high magic defense as well, so I am probably just going to be wailing on him and just attacking him because there's just there's no point in wasting MP on spells when in actual fact it's just going to be better off ju ju just attacking. As you've just seen there, Tifa's just been healed by that attack. Cloud didn't take any damage. The only one we've really got to worry about here is Barret, um, but... Barrett's got cure, so if Barrett needs to cure himself, he can do. And obviously, now that we know how to cast single spell, uh, single spell um, cure abilities, we're not we're not wasting we're not we're not wasting that. So Barrett is probably going to need to be cured right about now. Please don't do it on Barrett again. Please don't do this on Barrett. Please do it on Cloud. Oh, you absolute! Oh my Christ! Um, high potion, Barrett. Oh fuck! Now, Q. 
secure yourself. Thank God for that. Christ, I really thought he was going to die then. Right, I need, to, I need to keep my eye on that. Yeah, really need to keep my eye on that. I absolutely love this boss track. You're yourself. Oh, Christ. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh. I, th I thought that was on Barrett for a second. I might actually use... I might actually sense, just see how much HP it's got, and how long, roughly, we're going to be looking at. Barret, cure yourself. Actually, Barret's got the sense material, hasn't he? So... I'd rather not risk doing a sense. Oh, actually. Oh, no. Oh, I've taken it off. Anyway, oh, I don't matter. I've taken it off. Lovely stuff. Thank you. Right. Barrett, uh, you just cure yourself. And then you can limit. Come on. Not Barrett, not Barrett, not Barrett. There we go. I really wish you didn't have to use T for in this, but hey ho. Alright, Barrett, you can cure yourself when you get chance again. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, oh, Christ, I thought I was going to be on Barrett again. He's going to do it again, though, isn't he? Oh, thank God for that. Right. There we are. Oh, f***. Barret cure, please. Please not Barret. Oh, okay. Oh, well, at least he's not dead. You're going to have to do it again here, mate. God, keeping you alive is just the bane of my life here. Well, I've got to, because I've got no Phoenix Downs. <laughs> Come on, got to be nearly done now, surely. Cure yourself. I'm wondering if maybe I should actually be doing something else other than attacking here, because this is taking a lot longer than I kind of really wanted it to. <laughs> um, no. You can attack. 
Too fair. What have you got? Bar oh, bio and barrier. Well, neither of them are going to do anything. Cloud is silenced, so he actually can't do any magic. And I want to save Barrett's MP. So, yeah, it's just going to have to be an attack fest. Come on. Little Curie Cure again, Barrett. And you can do your limit again. Oh, no, Barrett, of course it was. So you're just going to have to cure again then, are you, mate? Come on, I want to get this limit in. That's Genova death. Done. They've all stayed alive. I mean, two out of three were guaranteed to, but it's nice that all three of them did. And uh, another reflect, reflect, another reflect ring. Lovely stuff. If you have enjoyed the video, guys, please do remember to leave a nice big thumbs up on it and subscribe to the channel for future content. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell to let you know when these videos do go live for you. I do now also have a buy me a coffee page. So if you do want to support the channel in another way, I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you want to see what's happened in my Final Fantasy VII No Random Encounters challenge so far, you can check out this playlist right here. And if you want to see what's been happening in our Final Fantasy VII Rebirth playthrough, you can check out this playlist right here. My name's Matt, better known as the Yorkshire Gamer, and thank you very much for watching.